Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the stage 4 and 5 filters on your APEC reverse osmosis water filtration system. Now if you already haven't checked it out on my channel, I have a playlist for everything you want to know about the APEC reverse osmosis system, including a review of the overall product and replacement of the stage 1, 2, and 3 filters. You can and probably will want to replace all 5 filters at once. The stage one, two, and three filters, you replace those on a yearly basis. The stage four and five filters, more like every two to four years. So if you're replacing the stage four and five filters, you're probably also replacing the stage one, two, and three filters. So if you need to, go check out on my channel how to replace those stage one, two, and three filters. And here in the box, they always send you the instructions for replacing any of the five filters. And these are decent enough instructions to use but if you still have the original installation instruction and owner's manual, this goes into a lot more detail. It's better to use this. Then in the box, you'll want your two replacement filters for stage four and five, where we have the reverse osmosis membrane filter and the carbon filter. You will need this wrench that the system came with for loosening the hosing that contains the RO membrane. Then I also always lay out a towel just in case you spill any water. A lot less likely for the stage four and five filters, but I'll still put the towel out. First thing you need to do is completely empty the tank of water. And you do that by opening the beverage faucet, letting the water run until it comes to a trickle. And then to confirm that the tank is fully empty, you can lift it up a little bit, it'll feel pretty light. Locate the shutoff valve. It's right here, the needle valve. I'm gonna close that valve. This will shut off the water supply to the RO system. Next, close the valve on the storage tank. It's a 90 degree turn. Open the beverage faucet to relieve pressure in the system. Next, I'm gonna take the filter housings out of the cabinet. Next, we're going to replace the RO membrane stage four. You're going to push in this collar and remove the tube. Now mine is on really tight, been trying and cannot loosen it and get grip on the other side of the housing. So you could try tapping on the wrench with a hammer or when you're using use some strap wrenches to open this. So that was really easy with the strap wrenches. And from there, finish loosening with the wrench. So you can see, looks discolored and dirty compared to this bright white of the new membrane. Next, use a pair of pliers to remove the old membrane. There's not too much additional water in here. Gonna spill that out. 
All right, notice in my system here, got some growth built up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the steps to sanitize the system before I put the new filters in. So at this point, I've gone ahead, cleaned out and sanitized the entire system. I have a video on my channel. I'll get a link in the description right here on how to do that. And now it's time to put the new reverse osmosis membrane filter in. Now it's important, it says in the instructions, do not touch the filter with your hands, or you'll risk contaminating it. So you're going to open it from the end that gets installed. And then I just insert it straight from the plastic into the housing. They say to use a pair of pliers, but I just use the inside of the plastic here. Push that in. Put the cap back on. Use the wrench to tighten it up. And then insert that white tube. Next, we're gonna replace this TCR carbon filter. It's up on the top. This is a stage five filter and does not have a housing, just has the tubes directly connected to it. So you push in that collet in order to pull the tube out. Do that on both sides. And that old filter, you can toss that out. Here's the new filter, it's wrapped in plastic. Take the plastic off. Also has these inserts to take out on either end. The flow arrow that points towards this clear tube that goes up to your beverage faucet. So I'm going to push that into place first. And the instructions for my system say to use a mild bleach solution. So I would bleach diluted with water to clean either ends of the new filter where the tubes insert as well as these tube ends. And it's to prevent contamination. And then push in those tubes. And that's it for the TCR carbon filter. Now we're at the point where everything is reconnected, filters are installed, all the housings are tightened up. You're gonna start turning everything back on. If you have a valve on your drain line, you wanna make sure that's open. Open valve on your tank. I have the beverage faucet closed. I'm gonna turn on the water. And you're gonna check for leaks as this is filling up. So I'm not seeing any leaks. And right now, filters are doing their job. Tank is filling up. It'll take two to three hours to fill that tank, also depending on the size of your tank. So after three hours, I'll check the tank and feel, make sure it feels about as heavy as it should feel as a full tank. And then you're gonna discard that first full tank of water. So at that point, about three hours later, open the beverage faucet, completely empty the tank, 
until it goes down to a trickle. Then let the tank fill a second time and then you'll be all set to drink the water. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.